Hey guys, so I'm just lounging around before I have to go out. And I'm definitely going to wear these earrings. They're like butterflies and they're rose gold color. Uh, my hair, I did make it curly, but I didn't like it, so I threw it up and it's kind of like a medium high bun top knot thing. I just, I wasn't feeling it and it's pouring down rain outside. But enough about that. This is going to be my March favorites. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with my makeup products. And the first thing you guys have already seen me use plenty of times, and it is my Urban Decay Naked Palette. And it's like this. My favorite colors are I always wear Naked, Buck, and Virgin. Always. But I really, really like Dark Horse, this dark color right here. Let's watch it for you. Dark Horse. I really like Toasted. I like these colors, I just don't wear them a lot. It's Toasted. And I love Gunmetal. So if you can see that this is Dark Horse, Toasted, and Gunmetal. I really, really, really love those. But I always wear a fake book from Virgin. This is like an everyday good neutral eye. Anyways, I love this. The colors are so pretty. The palette is awesome because you can go from night to day, neutral, smoky, anything you want to do. I love it. So versatile. And then the next thing is my um, e.l.f. powder brush. This is from the studio line. It's like the flat top powder brush. And I love this. It's so soft. And I use this for putting on my blush. Which I have on right now. I really love this. Um, I don't really know what to say. What to, ooh, ooh, there's blush in it. I don't really know what to tell you guys about it. Except for that... I love it. I'm going to clean it right now because I just saw all that fly out of it. And it's really gross. But, um, I want to get more of these. I want to get one more definitely to apply my powder. Or, and maybe, I don't know, I really like my kabuki for my powder. I might get one to apply my foundation. I think that would be good. And maybe one for my bronzer. I kind of like my angled one because it's good to get into the hollows. But this brush is just awesome and it's so soft. And it's such a good quality. It feels so sturdy. I really like that. Now it's clean too. Elf brush cleanser. There's all kinds of elf products. It's so cheap. Okay, and the next thing is from Elf. And it's the um, bronzer and blush duo that everyone says is a dupe for NARS and Laguna. It's like this. I don't know because I haven't, I don't have NARS or Laguna. I have them on right now. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of just a peachy pink with gold reflex in it. You can't see that. Um, it's right here on my hand. No. It's a very subtle color. I think Orgasm is darker. And this is the bronzer. Is my hand like dirty? No. Anyways, um, I like it. I think it's good for a versatile, like a big range of skin tone. I think a lot of people can wear this. And um, it's only $3. And I love it. I think this is what my favorites are about, just to tell you guys I love this stuff. I do. This is kind of lame. I don't really have anything to tell you about anything. But this next product is like my holy grail. I can't believe I haven't tried this before. And it's my... Skin 79 Triple Function Super Plus BB Cream. It's a pink one. And this is for whitening. UV Protection of S S SPF 25. And it's um, to help fight wrinkles. And, like, I didn't have, like, acne scar scarring or anything. But I, my skin tone was uneven or whatever. And this has whitening properties. And I can tell that it has lightened up my skin. And everything's more even. And I can tell that some of the wrinkles on my forehead are starting to go away. Um, because I always like this all the time. I don't know why. But, um, this is good for, like, this is all I use. So 
that's probably a little too much for what I use. It's like three dots. And then I just smooth it on. Which is going to be kind of really opaque on the back of my hand because I bet you get the picture. It's so smooth and it's not like a full finish, you know, full coverage or whatever. It's like a t using a tinted moisturizer. But um, it's great for every day at work. And if I do need a little more coverage, I just mix, put a little bit of foundation over top of it, and I'm good to go. This is, like, awesome. I love the way this feels on my skin. I love what it does to my skin. It's great. And the next thing is um, my moisturizer that I've been using every morning. And it's from Boots. 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 Boots, yeah, like Boots number seven, like I think Boots makes the number seven stuff from Target, and this is from Target. This is the Ex Expert Shine Control Lotion. Like it says we all want to glow with healthy, with health, but never shine. It's just, I just love this because it, um, it, it moisturizes my face very well, but it helps mattify my face during the day. So that's a really good product, and it's pretty cheap. I think it was like five dollars. And the next thing I have is a body lotion. It's from St. Ives. It's the Naturally Indulgent Coconut Milk and Orchid Extract. The only thing I don't like about this is that it has mineral oil in it, and mineral oil will keep you from tanning. So I need to, um, it smells so good. It smells like tropical coconutty in this. But, um, I'm thinking about just getting the oatmeal one for summertime, and then switch back to this during the winter because, I don't know, it really, it moisturizes my skin really good, and I love the way it smells, and I love St. Odd's products. And the last thing, so it's kind of short, I have to meet my friends very soon, um, is um, a mouthwash. It's from Crest. It's the Pro Health Invigor Invigorating Clean. So it does look at the big bottle because it was on sale. And, um, I thought invigorating, like it would foam up in my mouth or whatever, but it doesn't. It's kind of like the kids' mouthwash, like when you spit it out, you can, it, like it turns all the nastiness a different color and you can see it and you can see it in your mouth or whatever. So I really like this and I like the taste. The mint is a very good mint and it's not too strong. But sometimes when my tongue, my tongue gets irritated, it's like, ah, uh, but it's, it's not, it's not too strong. I really like it. Anyways, that was my March fav favorites. Short and sweet and to the point, right? Right? I'm short and sweet. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I would really appreciate it if you would post a video response of your March favorite so I can see what you guys are trying out and maybe get some ideas for me to try out for next month. Um, I guess that's it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.